I want to show you a very simple example of how to process payroll in Dynamics GP. Now I'm not going to get into adding employees or even doing hourly transactions. I'm going to look at a simple salary payroll and then go through the processing. So let's take a look at it. There's basically three things that we're going to do. We're going to build the checks, we're going to calculate the checks, and then we're going to print the checks. And at the end of that it will post and we'll look at all the reports. So let's get started. Let's do a build check. So I'm going to use this ID, which I've previously set up. This is going to take the semi-monthly payroll, and it's going to include these deductions. It's going to include these benefits. And there's no hourly transactions. It's just going to be a salary. So let's build the payroll. take a look at the report. Here's a report that prints out. This shows what it's going to include when it actually calculates the payroll. So let's go to that. Let's calculate the checks. It's going through and it's calculating tax checks based on tax rates, based on deductions and benefits. Let's take a look at it. Here's the result. I'm going to show you by employee the benefits, deductions, all the taxes that were calculated, and then the net check amount. So let's move on to the next step, which is printing the checks. Let's go ahead and process that. Deposits have been calculated, no exceptions. And then it goes through a number of processes. Some are going to be printing, some is going to be posting. So the first one here is check alignment. So let's print that out. It's going to create a quick alignment form. That's fine. And then if that's good, we'll print the checks. Let's hit print. These are, are the employee checks. You want to print out the Earning statement, let's print alignment. Do that. Here's the alignment form. And then if it's good, we'll print the earning statements themselves. Let's process that. There are the earning statements. You can see there's a number of them. And then it wants us to post. So let's post the payroll hit process and then it's going to print out a number of reports. We'll take a look at each one of them. And here they go. So here's the first one. It's the check register. It shows each employee and summary check amounts. Look at the next. Payroll check posting register which is all the accounts that are going to be posted to, and the employee ID. This is a listing by pay code. These are all one pay code, a salary pay code. But you can see that report here. Here's a department posting. and also by position. This is the deduction posting journal. You can see by deduction type how much and to which employees were deducted from the paychecks. So benefits posting. See two different posting, two different benefits here. See by employee and the dollar amount. and the state tax posting journal. There's nothing there. Here's a checkbook posting journal. And the direct deposit. Transaction summary by employee. These are the direct deposits to the banks. 
see there are different amounts for each employee and maybe different accounts they might have. And that's it, a very simple example of a very simple payroll. So this shows you basically the basic process for processing the payroll and the number of different reports you get out. Hope that's helpful.